Welcome back to the Pokemon XD Go Darkness Let's Play. If you, for those of you who don't know, last time the professor just got kidnapped and now we are running around the laboratory looking for our mom so we can progress the story. For those of you who don't know, that room is the purifying chamber where the uh, finished purifying machine will be later in the game. At the moment, it's just a uh, place to heal your Pokemon. Now we're off to uh, Gigan Port. You can see this is one of my favorite new locations in the game. It's just interesting to see a place like that, especially considering the last game, the entire region was basically a giant desert. So we can see an area that's just a beach or something. And this is giving me the notes to the decaying memos about the shadow Pokemon. And now we're at Gideon Port. Again, this is one of the more interesting of the new locations to me because it's complete opposite of the locations that were in the last game. Go <laughs> the eyes. And then we have this asshole. And no pupils. And his name is Zook. Mm. Uh, and the main bad guy shows himself. They do a better job of fighting to the bad guy than this one. Like in the last one, where it's kind of obvious. Well, until the main bad guy shows up and tells you who he is. Usually, a job like that was supposed to be open up, but Howard is still being defeated by other Pokemon. And... Here's the thing that always bothered me about Shadow Pokemon. I know it's supposed to be something 
motivate the player to purify them so that they can get stronger Pokemon. But it seems completely useless that their level just stops at whatever level they're sh shadow fight in. If you go to the uh, Krabby Club, you know that giant building shop like Krabby, you'll find that guy again. But I'm far too busy to find them, I have to get those machine parts. Remember that novel info will be important later. Not now, but later. <laughs> There's no weird thing about this odd bridge. This guy will give you the evolutionary item for evolving your Eevee. Cause you run at them so early in the game, it doesn't even matter really that you have an Eevee at this point. <laughs> if those of you who cared to know, I'm going to go for Umbreon because, well, personal experience, and Umbreon is my favorite evolution. The uh, personal experience being that every Umbreon I've ever had was massively bulky. I mean, so bulky. Those of you who don't know, bulky is referring to strong defense. And every Umbreon I've ever owned basically. Was mass was massively defensive Pokemon. I mean, their defense was so high. Like one of my Umbreon's, its defense was like 303 or something. Now I would just go off and get the machine part to finish this part up, but there are two hidden shadow Pokemon in this town. Not, oddly enough, you wouldn't even know if you didn't have a guide your first playthrough. <laughs> if you were your first playthrough, you were just doing what they told you to do when going where they were supposed to go. You wouldn't even know about these two guys and the shadow Pokemon that they have.
both of you are curious, Shadow was an effective against Shadow Pokemon. Just a little tidbit to know. So this guy's always trying to creep me out of me. He hides away in a dark corner of the town. And he's called regular guy. I don't know if he's supposed to be a joke on something or if he's just supposed to be intentionally creepy. But he kind of creeps me out. <laughs> so I am now going to go to the Pokemon Center because I need to heal that bloody ball I just caught. And my Eevee a little bit. I forgot. So the next person with a shadow Pokemon in the game is actually here in the White House. Uh, they have a Poochiana, if I remember right. find some more items but I'm just too lazy for that. <laughs> okay and there's the guy, I mean chick. She's the bodybuilder female trainer always creeping me out. Parts of the game aren't really full of challenge. It's pretty much a walking. Mm, I don't know what to call it exactly, but you can't get what I mean. Basically, just running around from place to place in the early parts of the game. But of course, it's pretty much paramount that you catch these shadow Pokemon early, this early in the game, because if you catch them later in the game, you'll pretty much knock them out of one hit. You'll probably need the space for the thing. So far, every shot for you and I fought has been female, huh? Just 
just something I just noticed to point out. Uh, last time I was thinking about an idea of having the snag mechanic be a, a own game where you steal a your opponent's Pokemon in battle. Uh, I want to think of elaborate, elaborate on that more. Cause last time it's talked about just stealing Joey's Rattata and just make him cry. But I'm thinking it'll still work like that. You'll steal your opponent's Pokemon, but it only actually will work if you're part of an evil team. You know, like, you were a member of Team Rocket going around stealing people's Pokemon or something like that. Instead of it being a story of a trainer going to fight Elite Four, it'll be a story of a trainer going to, you know, conquer a region for his evil team or start up an evil team or something like that. Sorry for the snorting that I'm pretty sure you probably noticed by now. I I don't know what's going on. My nose is just running like crazy at the moment, and I cannot find another time to record on my schedule. So yeah, this is the best time I can find. Now back to the Pokemon Center to heal this Pokemon I just caught. here 